Hello, welcome back everybody. I just wanted to share um, a tool that I think is underutilized in Path of Building um, to help out with your character in PoE 2. This can also be used in PoE 1 as well. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to open up Path of Building and we are going to import our character. I have to authorize mine because I logged out and restarted my PC, so give me a second. But I used this tool the whole time um, while I was leveling um, and even now I'm using it to, to buy gear pieces. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to import your passive tree, your jewels, and your items. As you can see, my whole passive tree is up. Um, so now I'm going to go over to items and I'm going to hit this button that's called trade for these items. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to pinpoint an item and find the best item for us in that slot. So, with my helmet, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to go to full DPS, because it's my helmet slot, and I want to make sure that I'm getting the best EHP that I can out of it. I'm going to set that to five, or 0.5, and I'm going to go to effective hit pool, and set that over to 1. I'm going to hit save, and then I'm going to hit find best. I'm going to hit execute, and we're going to right click, and it's going to give us a trade link. And when it gives us this trade link, it is going to populate what is called a weighted sum. So what this does is this gives us a bunch of information for what is going to affect our EHP. What I like to do is here where it says sum, I like to click that. Okay, it's telling me for 30C, I can get this help. Now, we can even get a little more granular. Now when I bring, it, bring in my, care, my information, I see that I've got uh, 201 life, some mana, dexterity, fire, chaos res and evasion rating so what i want is i would like to get life i would like to keep the dex uh, if we go into character we need the fire and chaos because we are capped at that point um but we're going to double check in pov because i'm pretty sure that i'm actually over capped on fire resistance so we don't need top tier fire resistance we need um at least 24 so i'm going to pull up this i'm also going to drop the armor I don't want armor, I don't want energy shield. And I'm also going to put on here that I want life. Oh, minions max life. Apologize. To maximum life. Let's put, what's T1 life? We're gonna have to hit that again. T1 life is 174. So life, let's put 170 just to be safe. Chaos resistance. Pull up POB again. We'll see what our chaos res was. Chaos res was 26. 26. So now we hit this again. For one divine, I can get one that's got 41 chaos res, 190 life, uh, and uh, evasion rating. Reduce attributes is a dead mod. Also, this mana. But it's for one div and it's corrupted. It's got two sockets. You can then take and hit where it says copy item and pull that directly into your POB. Hit create custom mods. Control V that one. Now that's going to go in there. We create. Now, if I happen to put my take my helmet and put this helmet out instead, I would be losing DPS on top of losing a little bit of um, effective hit pool. It's not the greatest of helmets for me. But for one div, you might be able to use this and you that might help you with your survivability a little bit. Um, let's do it again for uh, boots. Hit trade. Make sure that our stuff is still set. It is, save, and then we are going to hit for boots this time. Hit execute, control C, close out our helmet. Again, we're going to adjust our filters. No energy shield, no armor. This is personal preference for me. You make this what you need. Say you're running an armor build, then you take off the energy shield, you take off the evasion, so on and so forth. Now, my boots only have, uh, if we open them up, my boots only have 20% movement speed um, and only 26 increased evasion rating. So my boots can still be upgraded to give me a little more evasion. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go count, life, 150, movement speed, I want at least 30. No results found, so if we go to 25, all right, that's not it. Uh, go 30 and go, let's go 100 life. Okay, so looks like 149 is the top rating for life. So let's go and switch this to 140. Just to play it safe, see if we can get anything better. Okay, again, weighted sum, cold resist, increased evasion rating. Uh, this has max life, deflection, dexterity, reduce attributes, not really a big deal. Increased evasion rating, and another one there. So, like that, you can go through and just double check, see what's in here, 
um, and go through and find what you need on your build. Uh, boots, I still need high res. Um, we can probably drop the lightning res because we're 65 over. Um, cold res too, we can drop. We don't need it for these boots. And that's without having any type of runes for um, any elemental res in our gear. But you just do this and you find basic items that may be searching for exactly what you need in your build. Maybe you can find a hidden gem in here that's underpriced that would make your build go from, you know, doing white maps, because I'm not sure where everybody's at, doing white maps into yellows, and then you can therefore go on and progress um, from there. Another thing that I like to do um, is for rings, um, hit adjust and just hit reset. And it'll go to full DPS and hit save. For rings, you want your full DPS because you get a lot of your power from the flat from the rings. And we hit execute. Um, actually, what I would want to do is ring 2. Because ring 1 I probably won't replace. Because um, it's a big chaos, chaos res ring. Again, we look to see what we have on here. Uh, what ring is that? We have life, res, res, evasion, physical. So, again, go here. Uh, hit and life 120 life just for starters and 119 is the top roll so 110 some and then we look 100 divines for this ring that's wild to pay for um but as you can see here there is a ring for five exalts that strength life evasion uh, i would lose a little bit then we got here for seven div uh plus the element all elemental res physical damage lightning damage life res res man on enemy killed so if I take and plug this in, uh, we make sure we copied it, and then we go back to POB, hit create custom, pop that bad lad in there, and add to build. We go to this, and prismatic ring. Our combined damage goes up 300, um, but we lose evade chance. We go a bunch of positive res. Our max hit goes up a little bit, things of that nature. So that's how I've been able to find all of my gear just by using this underutilized tool here to trade for these items and using weighted sums. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comment. Um, and yeah, I hope this helps you out and hopes you get you through your mapping needs and all of that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you got something out of it, please leave me a like, uh, a subscribe, comment on me, um, and help me get to that YouTube uh, robot so it pushes the video out. I appreciate everybody. Thank you.